Hi guys, uh, welcome back. In uh, this episode, we are going to be combining probably two of the greatest things, and that is ACDC and Whirly Gigs to create this animatronic Angus Young. Cue the Thunderstruck and let's start the build. Alright, so to start on the, the body section and figure out our moving parts, what we did is printed out the picture that we want to use, uh, printed out three copies, and uh, from that we were able to cut out different pieces and parts to kind of figure out, you know, where we want things to move, how we want things to pivot, and then what we're going to do is spray mount our different sections on different pieces of wood and then cut these out. So in this case, we're going to take this section here, and this is going to get cut out of 3 quarter inch. Our leg is going to get cut out of, uh, that's quarter inch. And then our main upper toe or so area here, this will be out of 3 eighths. All right, we're gonna to start to glue our templates down with uh, just spray them out here. So just spray a little on the back. All right, then we are ready to start cutting out our perimeter for these pieces. ready to drill out our holes for the pivots here and I think I'm gonna go something like right right where his hand is about So that's how it'll hinge, so that kind of gives you an idea of how it will work. Something like that. Alright, so we have our Angus all cut out, drilled, and all the joints put together. 
So then what we did is drew out here uh, approximately where the box is going to be and uh, where the cutouts are going to be for uh, the legs and the wires coming through. And using a piece of copper wire, you can hand bend it. So it's a lot easier to figure out how much throw you want to have on the different ligaments. So then after bending it, everything up in the copper wire, uh, you can take your steel wire and, uh, and bend this. Um, to bend the steel wire, we had to use um, a vise and a hammer and just bang on it. So, so it's much easier to figure everything out in the, uh, in the copper wire first and then try to mimic it. And as you can see, we didn't uh, we didn't exactly copy it, but I think we're going to be close enough that it should still work. All right, so we have all of our uh, our wood pieces for our base um, already all cut out. Uh, we routed out a quarter inch section on all four sides to fit our top piece in, and our top piece is a piece of quarter inch, um, and we've already cut out where the uh, the wires are going to come through and then we cut out voids here so we can slide our LEDs in as well. So with that, let's get gluing. We are ready to make our crank uh, support pieces so we're doing is using these two pieces with a little groove cut in top and these will slide down something like that and then we'll glue these in place and then our crank assembly will with these bushings will sit on there and then we'll take some aluminum strapping once these are glued down then we'll just be able to clamp the plastic part in and keep it from sliding around that way, if we have to get in and change something down the road, uh, it'll make it easy to get it in and out. So let's go ahead and glue that up. Okay, we're ready to uh, put in our uh, crank straps here. We have the box for the most part just roughed in and the motor mounted in there so we are ready to start building our wiring harness and uh, we're using one of these RGB LED strips that has a, uh, a USB plug-in and uh, we can actually power the motor from this this LED strip as well so we're gonna end up uh, cutting this and then soldering in a new section and then wiring down to our motor. We already have our wires cut up. Yeah, it would probably be easier to um, uh, use different color wires, but I had a garden tractor uh, harness sitting around, so we're using that. You know, just with you know dumb luck or careful planning, uh, we're um, able to cut this down into uh, lengths that will fit on here as well. I had a fly on the wall. So uh, let's uh, start cutting this up and um, right, building our harness. All the lights work and the motor's driving. So the brightness function actually works as a speed controller.
right, so we have the uh, the bottom here. We had already primed it and painted it. We used this hammered uh, silver paint, and uh, I think it looks pretty cool. So uh, we can start assembling the bottom section here. And uh, that's gonna be just wiring in the LEDs, mounting the, the electric motor, and uh, wiring that in as well. So to start, what we're gonna have to do is feed through these wires through this little back hole here. And hopefully everything fits. All right, so as you may notice, all of our wires are now brown uh, because trying to pull it through the tight little holes here, uh, we snapped off all the little solder tabs and the wires were just too rigid. So we went with this thinner gauge wire and uh, I'm gonna try to be a little bit more careful running through the next one. So let's continue that. Test the lights and the motor. Motor spins and lights work. And once again, we'll test to make sure. All right, so uh, all of our pieces are painted. Put these feet down. So what we're gonna do is use just some wood glue, and then just add in a little super glue just to set it up quickly. So the super glue will hold it in place while the wood glue is drying and uh, we'll just give that a couple of minutes to set up. Alright, so the bottom leg is in and we're ready to start assembling the top section here.
So then to bend up the connectors from the crankshaft to the arm and the leg here, we're just going to cut up this old uh, coat hanger here and uh, bend that to fit. And we're going to start in the lowest position. So right now this foot would be down. So we're going to put the crankshaft down. All right, it seems that I forgot to add the holes here. So we're just going to drill that out. for this guitar here. We're going to go right in the center. Should fit pretty good. And with the flick of a switch, Angus comes to life. If you found this uh, video interesting, helpful, or just entertaining, please uh, like and subscribe.